Alright, this is part two of the Sword and Shield Rebel Clash booster box opening. This will be the last 18 packs. It's on the left side of the box. Here they are, all 18 of them. Now the um, this is the last booster box I have so far. I'm waiting to be opened, but you know I, I'm thinking about ordering more, um, especially some from the um, Sun and Moon era, and then um, one or two from Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze when it launches. Oh, it's the wrong card. Um, well, that's an uncommon. Um, when it launches in um, August. Um, anyway, here we go. We have a Metatite, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingle, Natu, Water Type Energy, Lampet, Beware, uh, Metacham, Reverse Common, Caterpie, and a, a dropped it, a Barbical, Non Hollow River. Moving on to the next pack. I do have my scissors with me this time, just in case I cannot get packs open like this one. The Evolutions packs were. Uh, most of the evolutions packs I opened, or I open, I've opened before, are usually very simple to open, and they don't really take that much of a struggle. But this one does. Where these sets do. If you remember, we have a Temple, Fulby, Galarian Corsola, Toxel, Galarian Mr. Mime, Darkness Type Energy, Masquerade, Nugget, Tranquil, Reverse, Uncommon Palace, and any Butterfree non hall rare. Moving on to the next pack now. Like, 80% of the video is just, like, I'm struggling with the pack for, like, most of the video. It's crazy. Anyway, here is the card trick, 4 and 2. And here we go. We have a Shinx, Raleigh Collie, Aplin, Hatina, Magikarp, Grass-type Energy, Beware, Polisand, Draining Court, Reverse, Uncommon Palpitoad, and a Seismitoad, non hollow rare So we've got an evolutionary line right there in that pack. That is cool. Anyway, for the, uh, moving on to the next pack now. Oh my gosh, these just don't want to open for me at all. I'm scared one of these times I'm going to end up cutting the cards inside where they use the scissors. I'm going to end up damaging one of them in general. Alright, pack trick is 4 and 2. And here we go, we have a Bunnelby, Phantom, Dreepy, Galarian Farfetch'd, Honich, Grass Type Energy, Dan, Twin Energy, Fay Lynx, Reverse Rare Butterfree, and a Copper Ha V, and that is an Ultra Rare. It does not look too messed up on the back, so that is nice. That is our first Ultra Rare in this. Oh my gosh, these are transparent. Um, let's see our first Ultra Rare in this right side of the box. I'll put it right there. And we got a Reverse Rare as well. And that was the fourth pack. So we have um, about 14 packs left to go. Um, that is a nice ultra rare pool. I'm not exactly sure um, the value of um, the ultra rares in this set exactly. I did look up um, those four, the values of those four, after part one, but I'm not really sure the value of Copper Hobby. Anyway, for the next pack, we have a Glarian Farfetch'd, a Glarian Meowth, Caterpie, Galarian Corsola, Litwick, Lightning Type Energy, Scoop Up Net, Heracross, Electrode, Reverse, Coming Not To, Any Spirit Tomb, Non Hollow Rare. Did we get an energy card in that pack? Oh, we did. Okay, for some reason I thought, for some reason I only counted 10 cards instead of um, um, 11. With um, the Sword and Shield sets and the Sun and Moon sets, you are supposed to get 11 cards because. One of the, you get 10 additional playing cards, and then you get an energy card. Here we have a Magikarp, Metatite, Milsery, Growlithe, um, Impidimp, Fighting Type Energy, Capture Energy, Charge a Bug, Shuckle, Reverse, Common Toxel, and a Boss's Order is Hollow Rare. That is right, awesome. Sorry about that, there was a lot of background noise going on, so I just went ahead and paused the um, recording. Here we have a Boss's Order holographic card. Um, this is actually... And um, an expensive card right now. Um, I'm not sure how much the hollow form is worth. I think it's worth about fifteen dollars. So I'm gonna put that with the uh, the ultra rare pull because that is a really good pull right there. I definitely wanted to pull a boss's orders um, in this opening, 
Um, what would be awesome now is if we pulled a boss's orders um, full art or a boss's orders full art hyper rare, which isn't worth much more than the original, just the full art form, um, oddly. But yeah, that is an awesome pull right there. Boss's orders holographic rare. Here we have a Snover, Binacle, Galarian Daramuka, Vulpix, Milsery, Fighting Type Energy, Horror Energy, Heatmore, Morpeko, Reverse Common Litwick, and a Whizcash non hollow rare. Gotta love those um those rare trainer cards, or just rare cards in general. We've got a next pack here. We have a, a an Applin. Hatchina, Aracuda, Galarian Meowth, Surskit, uh, Psychic Type Energy, Curse Shovel, Masquerain, Du Blade, Reverse Common, Applin, and a Ludicolo non hollow rare. So, although we did get that hollow card, we are due for an ultra rare. Oh my gosh, these packs do not want to open at all. I'm getting it. Ah, there we go, I got it. Anyway, we are due for an ultra rare, um, either in this pack, the next pack, or the pack after that, just based on, you know, statistics and stuff like that. And we have a Lotad, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Dreepy, Metal Type Energy, Masquerade, Nugget, Tranquil, Reverse Uncommon, Chatot, and I called it, I so called it, a Ninetales V Full Art. That is amazing for two reasons. Oh my gosh, this card looks absolutely incredible. Reason number one and reason number two. In this set, we were on the hunt for Ninetales V, and we have just pulled a Ninetales V. So I can conclude the hunt for Ninetales V. That is an absolutely incredible pull right there. Um, nine, I love Ninetales. Ninetales is an awesome Pokemon. And that full art form um, just looks absolutely astounding. It looks incredible. So that is an amazing pull right there. These um these booster boxes in general have been absolutely insane. Yeah, this is crazy. That is awesome pull right there. And we have a Milsery, Galarian Farfetch, Galarian Meowth, Caterpie. We have a Galarian Corsola, Metal Type Energy, Speed Energy, Pelipper, Palisand, a Skuntank, Reverse, Uncommon, <laughs> and now the Gloss V. So back to back packs. Um, oh, Eldegoss V, not Eldegloss. We have an Eldegoss V. I believe in full art form, it's like a $15 card. So while back-to-back -back packs, we get two V cards. That's crazy. And they, they reverse on these darkness types. They don't even look like they're in reverse hollow form. It's crazy. But yeah, that is amazing. Back-to-back -back packs right there. With a full art V card and then a um, regular V card. Or regular art, but that is incredible. I still can't get over that Nine Tails V full art pull. That is amazing. I believe it's a it's like a thirteen to fifteen dollar card, as well. I'm not sure though. Maybe that's the hyper rare form. All right, so I had a little bit of a camera issue once again. I really ought to get something fixed in it or something like that. Um. Anyway, we have a uh, Surskit Stuffle. Okay, good. The camera's focused. Uh, coughing Impidimp, Shinx, Water Type Energy. <laughs> a dropped Metapod. It's like the second card I've dropped this opening already. Burning Scarf, Elinia, a Reverse, Common Grubbin, and a Snorlax, non hollow rare. So we are on the final seven packs here. Hoping for one or two more Ultra Rare pulls. Though we already have six from this box. Oh, sorry, seven from this box. Not six. Um, including um, um, one Hyper Rare and one VMAX Full Art and one V Full Art. Alright, anyway, we have a Dreepy, Snover, Binacle, Galarian Daramuka, Vulpix, Darkness Type Energy, Limpet, Metacham, Beware, a Reverse Uncommon Longberry, and a Pincher Chin V. So, just as I was saying that I was hoping for, it's got a nick in the top right corner. Just as I was saying, I was hoping for another Ultra Rare, and we got one. Maybe I should just say that with every pack. A Pinterton V. Alright, that is awesome. We have six packs left to go. 
statistically we can pull one more ultra rare but that will probably be just about it if i had to guess so if we do end up pulling one more ultra rare i wonder which one it would be from the set maybe a boss's orders full art or a hyper rare that'd be crazy here we have a scyther holoby dreepy magmar Galarian yon mask uh, grass type energy halucha indeedy charge bug Reverse common sandy gas and a toxicity not order. That'd be good to go with my toxicity V promo um, that I got opening the toxicity V box. I really gotta practice opening these packs because right now it's just not working. All right, this is our fifth to last pack, I believe. We've got four more to go after this. We have a Litwick. Lotad, Clefairy, Voltorb, Growlithe, Lightning Type Energy, Beware, Polisand, Training Court, Reverse Common Shinx, and an Iskew, or an Iskew V. So we got Eldegoss and Iskew now. So that is awesome. That was what? We got a Pinchachin V, and then we didn't get anything for one pack, and then one pack later we got an Iskew V. That is crazy. That's like what? That's uh, so far nine Ultra Rares from this box. That is insane. I don't know if, um, I don't know if Pokemon increased pack chances with the Sword and Shield expansion, but, like, um, Evolution, XY Evolutions, oh, actually, showed the code card, um, XY Evolutions booster box, I got, like, a lot of Mega EXs, and then, you know, Sword and Shield base set booster box, I got, like, nine or ten Ultra Rares, and now this one is, is just crazy. Anyway, we have a Haley Uptile, Honage, Litwick, Galarian Corsola, Binacle, Fighting Type Energy, Melo, I'm afraid the Hyper Rares too, Turfield Stadium, Lombre, a Reverse Rare Zacian, and a Spirit Tomb, non hollow Rare. I'm also going to put this with the Ultra Rares. I, um, in the Sword and Shield base set, um, booster box, I pulled the Zacian V, the, uh, Golden Zacian V. And so... <clears throat> that was an absolutely crazy that was that pull was absolutely crazy now we have a zacian reverse hollow rare but still no zamazent does which is a little bit odd but i'm still on the hunt for celebi and zamazent from sword and shield base set so i might just buy another booster box or two i'm not sure though here we have a nose mask wingle coughing bronzor toxel fire type energy scoop up net hair across electrode Reverse Uncommon Turfield Stadium in a Galarian Mr. Rhyme non hollow rare. I believe that is my first um, pull of Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Oh my gosh, I thought I would actually not struggle for once. But I guess that one. I'll have to see how strong the packs are for Darkness and Blaze. But these packs are crazy. Alright, four and two. And here we go. We have a Barboach. Squovit, Athlon, Temple, Trubbish, Psychic Type Energy, Speed Energy, Pelipper, Palace and Reverse Common Bronzor, and a Hatterene Holographic Rare. That is a nice pull right there. That is, I believe, either our fifth or sixth hollow in the box so far. And down to the final pack. Will we be lucky and pull a tenth ultra rare to end of this booster box with a bang or will it just be a pack with no ultra rare we are about to find out or will it contain a hollow card we're about to see and we have a snover these cards are going all over the place pit of galarian daramuka hatchany scyther metal type energy horror energy heat more more peko a reverse common corkle or carkle and age of slash rare card but i like age of slash so i'll put age of slash back there all right, well, this booster box was not that bad at all. In part one, our ultra rare pulls were Victini V, Dragapult V Max Full Art, Milo Hyper Rare, and Rylopoon V. And then, not in, just including the uh, ultra rare pulls, we got in this second half a Copper Hot V, a Nine Tails V Full Art, which we were on the hunt for, Eldegoss V, Pinchurchin V, and an Ice Q V. So, in all, here are the nine ultra rare cards we pulled in this booster box including one secret rare or hyper rare, um, one full art VMAX, and one V full art, which we are actually on the hunt for, so that is amazing right there. And other, no other notable pulls were the Boss Orders Hollow, Hatterene Hollow, Zacian Reverse Rare, Aegislash Rare, uh, Darkness Energy, Butterfree Reverse Rare, no, Darkness Energy, 
and then some hollow cards, which I believe are from the first half of the box. A Colossal Hollow Rare, Chandelure Hollow Rare, Hatterene, Reverse Rare, and a Grimace Snarl Hollow Rare. So this is the last booster box I have waiting to open, but um, I'm thinking about buying some Sun and Moon series sets booster boxes, and then one or two Darkness and Blaze booster boxes, trying to get that Charizard V and Charizard V Max Hyper Rare, or just regular uh, V Max. But um, one of my favorite pulls in this booster box was the Nine Tails V Full Art, of course, because we we're on the hunt for Nine Tails V, and we just pulled the Full Art form, so that is awesome. And I believe it's a no, uh, actually valuable card as well. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, I don't know when the next booster box opening will be because I don't have any more to open right now. Um, but I'm hoping it will be soon. It may I might wait until Darkness Ablaze to buy another booster box, but I'm not sure. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and until the next opening.